lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, Mavas? Wish you were heading out there? No, sir. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olvind was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? Commander, brace yourself, and good luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah, Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. 
Oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dwarf. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh's horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Would be worth another look around the Daunt before the embassy. And Thurlis mentioned there's a hunting grounds near here to train up. Sir? How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What's more... Ahem. <clears throat> oh. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate your service. Didn't you just give the... Both. Yay, for us. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh... How many ba... <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> if you don't... The Meridian. That's right. Nobody walks... Not even... Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Might be worth another look around the Daunt before the embassy. And Thurlis mentioned there's a hunting grounds near here to train a... There's Erend. Looks like he's had a few. Tripcaster I gave you here. It'll be a spark in a hoop. I'll take care of this. Fearless. So you decided to visit the hunting grounds. Good on you. Isvod here is all kinds of trials. So hot shots like you can put their machine hunting skills to the test. Or as the Tanakh call it, earning your stripes. I thought hunting grounds were Karja. 
Uh, the Tanakh have them out west, too. Though if you ask the Karja, Westerners stole the idea from the Sundom. In fact, the Tanakh used this place for a while after they kicked the Karja out of the region. They even left behind some of the special coins they handed out, to those who weren't stripes. Look, they're medals, Karja ones, more spoils. I heard you can trade them for gear somewhere in the Tanakh clan lands. Pretty gruesome, I know, then again, so were the Karja during the Red Raids. Come to think of it, if you plan on going west, I could convince Izvod to give you some, if you aren't stripes here. Seems like they might be of use to you out there. Thanks. Oh, and if you happen to play strike, my friend over there has some nifty pieces to trade. You need anything for the trials, come see me. I have some wares I'm sure you'd find handy. Good luck. Hey, Red. What can I get for you? Good luck. Mm. You wish to practice your hunting skills, Savior? If you're looking for medals prized by the Tanakh, you can earn them here, Savior. Oh, and I'd like you to have this, if you care to use it. Consider it my thanks for getting Thurlis out of trouble. Everything's set up. Just use the ropes to jump in. Machine's weak against frost.
This is for you, Savior. Set up. Just use the ropes to jump in.
no ammo for this.
This is yours, Savior. Remain vigilant in your travels, Savior. I hold these hunting grounds to the highest Karja standards. Grounds are all you... Use the ropes to jump in. Not that I expected any less. A reward well earned.
until you return, Savior.